So today we're going to be talking about something very important, which is the fact that Earth signs are changing during this time. So if we take a look at Taurus, the sign of Taurus during this time, we have Uranus, which is the planet of sudden shocks or sudden changes. And it's also about innovation, rebellion, and um, uniqueness, independence. But it's about sudden change, disruption. And then uh, in Capricorn, we have Pluto, the other planet of change. This is about um, secrets. And it's about almost like how a, a, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, you know, in a cocoon. It's things that happen behind the scenes. But it is about transformation. And it's about massive transformation. So... Um, with that being said, what, what do the earth signs really symbolize? Well, um, earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, they're really about, um, uh, variables. So everything that is important or that matters or that is real, and they each have a different approach. So Taurus Taurus, this is the sign that is about resourcefulness and pract practicality. And the way that they see things is based on um, variables and, and, and resources. So they tend to see things in the lens of what matters. And um, they capitalize on the objects of their mind that they perceive that matters. And so this could be things such as money, or this can be things such as an objective, but they zone in on what's like the most important variable, because that's all that matter is. It's variables, it's objects. Um, when you have a discussion, you talk about what matters with somebody, you guys are discussing various variables. And depending on what matters, that is what the variables are about. The air signs, they like to think and use logic. So the thing, though, is if you've ever had a conversation with somebody with a lot of air, sometimes they never get to the point because they're not focused on any specific variables. And that's what earth signs are all about. They're all about getting to the point. But air signs, um, such as Gemini, they're all about, about logic and and moving variables and thinking about things around in their head. And um, Gemini is about communicating. Um, Libra is about agreements and exchanges. But they don't necessarily have the ability to pick good variables. Like, have you ever heard somebody make an argument for something? But the variables that they choose automatically supports their argument. Just based on what they choose to make important, you know, in the conversation so that they'll use evidence that is biased, you know, and that's because they are changing the variables. Okay. Anyways, Taurus is about variables. It's the first earth sign. Virgo is the second earth sign. And it's a mutable earth sign. Mutable is about change. So Virgo is about changing variables. This is why they are so, they are also very resourceful because it's an earth sign, but they are intellectual and um, I guess uh, calculated, and they like to um, navigate changing variables. So situations such as price changes in foods and um, deals and discounts, and they're all about capitaliz capitalizing on things because they are ruled by Mercury. Okay, and Mercury is about exchange and uh, it's about the mind and it's about wit. So Virgos have the element of Earth, but they also combine logic with it in order to capitalize. And then finally, we have Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn is the final Earth sign and it's uh, about structure. And uh, so... It's when you take variables and you build something with it. So let's see.
So Capricorn really is when you take something that matters and you build something with it. And it's it's all a cycle. So in reality, it goes from Taurus to Virgo, the sign of work. And Virgo builds. And that's what society is. And that's what reality seems to be. Without, without the earth signs and without uh, steady variables, then this reality would be chaotic. But anyways, the point of this video is the fact that the earth signs are going through change. So there is Uranus in the sign of Taurus. And so during this time, what Tauruses have been feeling is they've been feeling more rebellious. Ever since about mid-2019, when Uranus entered Taurus for the first time, I, I don't know if it went back into uh, Aries, but since mid-2019, Tauruses ha have been feeling more innovative, and they've been feeling more rebellious, and they've been acting more unstable uh, as compared to how they usually uh, are, which is very dependable and and. Um, constant individuals but lately what uh, with changes happening in reality and in the structures um, as indicated by Pluto and Capricorn especially with Pluto reaching the final degrees um, the most resourceful thing to do is actually to innovate and to change and so that's what's going on with Taurus and then um, Capricorns which are all about um, the structure and it's about also society as a whole and um, external forms of dependency such as like governments but also it could be a, a career it could be a job which is an ex external form of dependence because um, capricorn is the opposite of cancer cancer is about um, inherent forms of dependency comfort security so like things you can depend on inherently such as family like, for example, if you lost your job, you have a family to go back to, perhaps. But um, Capricorn is those forms of dependency that are external. So sometimes you can not have a family or not depend on your family, but you rely on a job structure or on a corporate world um, to sustain yourself. So anyways, um, that sign, the sign of Capricorn, is going through steady decay because uh, Pluto, the planet of death and transformation, has been transiting in it since the year 2008, which was the housing market crash and whatnot. So the economy, which is ruled by Capricorn to a certain extent, I feel like all the, all the signs play into um, society, but um, especially Aquarius and Capricorn. But anyways, um, for the past 13 years now, um, Pluto has been transiting through Capricorn and it's been as far as like 26 degrees, but it, it's went retrograde recently and now it's back at 24. But we're really feeling the endings of society as we knew it. Um, and so Capricorns, they're making behind the scenes changes and they're making powerful changes. They're trying to manipulate circumstances more in their favor, and they're changing their, their lives in a way that will allow them to have more control. And um, this could be the government doing this, but it could also just be anybody that's that has Capricorn in their chart. Um, they, they're, um, they are not showing the fruits of their labor yet until the fruits are ripe. And... They're trying to innovate because Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn, is in Aquarius. So they're becoming more autonomous or trying to create more decentralized forms of self-sufficiency for themselves or trying to become um, more independent from structures. Um, but they're doing it in a private way or in like a secretive, transformative way. And when they reveal themselves after the transformation, it will be like a sudden shock. So a lot of Capricorns have been changing like a lot internally, um, whereas Tauruses have been externally focused on 
um, new things. So they've been changing and then, um, and people have been reacting because Scorpio opposes uh, Taurus. And um, so the sign of Scorpio has been experiencing, you know, Taurus changing a lot. So a lot of uh, Scorpios, they feel like a lot of their relationships are going through a lot of turmoil because um, Scorpios have the seventh house in Taurus. And, and so that's the most strong um, in, indication. But like, on the other hand, Capricorns are changing a lot internally, but they're not necessarily revealing the extent of their changes yet. Um, they're really introspecting. And uh, yeah, so they do, they're perhaps making big changes and getting ready to do big uh, things with their lives and with their objectives. So anyways, uh, that's just what I wanted to talk about in this video. And we talked about Earth signs as well. So hopefully that was interesting. Um, I know I covered a lot of information and it was uh, insightful just on a general level. Uh, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys sometime soon in another video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and thank you guys for supporting.